Hello and welcome. Today I'll be reviewing Event Horizon from 1997. This is directed by Paul W. S. Anderson. I know there's a few Andersons around, but Paul W. S. Anderson, this is the one. Here's the plot for the film. A few decades into the future, a rescue spaceship is sent to investigate a long since disappeared spaceship called Event Horizon. But what has it brought back with it, right? Because it's been gone for so long and, you know, it, 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 the characters in the film describe how, like, this film, the sorry, the Event Horizon can sort of skip into alternate dimensions by use of a demonstration from from one of the actors, right? I hope I hope you can all sort of get on board with how mad the premise gets. Uh, where do I start? I really wanted to watch it. Uh, I, you know, I, I knew what it was. I, I, I didn't know the fundamentals of it. I, I knew who was in it. I knew it was a sci-fi. And that's all I really knew. I knew that some people, you know, found it really... It's like a cult, sort of. It's got a cult following, right? So I wanted to see what was in store. Uh, you can never be prepare, um, prepared for Event Horizon. It's it's I still don't know what to think of it like I liked it it's not the best film I've ever seen not the best sci-fi but it, I really this film like had like a weird effect on me where you know it blends things I like you know like you know uh um alien right it's like a horror set in space right and this is the same but it goes even like it goes really dark like extremely dark like there's blood there's gore there's graphic scenery and what they wanted to do that never made it to the to the to the final film is so much more like disturbing but even this is quite disturbing you know it, it's still sitting with me today and it's still racking my brain on whether it's like <laughs> like a really great film or whether it's i i don't really you have to watch it you have to watch it it's it's it, playing mind tricks on me and it does to the characters too like it's all the horror elements sort of pick apart the team as you would in like a horror in space that a lot of them do yeah it, the story expands into a more demonic thriller um type of thing yeah, yeah those moments were interesting although albeit a wee disturbing unsettling we can say yeah, the, the tone is drenched in thriller sort of themes. Uh, Suspiria, you know, they start to lose their minds. You know, you've got Lawrence Fishburne, you, you, who's the captain, who's sort of trying to... He, he mostly stays in character of being this stern, you know, I've got to get the job done. But whilst, you know, his team are just being devoured by this entity that is Event Horizon takes a few inspirations from other films which is is not a bad thing necessarily unless it's sort of like you know copies it word for word or scene for scene but it sort of just takes things and sort of like i mentioned alien and whatnot and it just it does it is its own film for sure uh i'll say that much it's quirky as hell the production i think that's i think the production is why why i think it's really good because like the production like the practical, the practical, you know, sets that they built were fantastic, fabulous sets, like great big enormous sets, the ships, all the little detail and all like that. That's probably my favourite part of this film. Um, they really pulled the look of it. It looks lived in, it looks dirty, it looks horrific when it needs to be. Congratulations to the huge scale on, on production there. I enjoyed the cast when they're all together. I do like a sort of ensemble where people are differing in, in opinions and different characters. One's comedic, one's, you know, a bit a bit scary, a bit disturbed. One, you don't know what's going on with them. A couple of females um, that have significant roles. Uh, there are a few names in here that you um, that, I sh that I should know. Jason Isaacs, uh, Sam Neill, who sort of like is the lead against Lawrence Fishburne as the captain of the ship that goes to rescue them. Like Sam Neill is like this sort of um, man that gets brought on to go and investigate the disappearance, right? 
Yeah, Sam Neill, I like Sam Neill as an actor, don't get me wrong. I just He doesn't fit like a sci-fi film for me, in my opinion. You know, I've said it, but I'll say it again, the plot is far out. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. It gets comedic to at the height of the action, at the climax, which is pretty weird because after all the disturbing scenes that we witness... There's one character that like carries like a comedic, like it's just so comedic, right? When it's like so full of action and like, are we going to beat the bad guy or not? So in that aspect, it's mad as a box of frogs. But I liked it. It might go down. I might be one of the the the, the followers of this Event Horizon cult one day. I, I'm glad I watched it anyway. To be fair, thank you. Let me know what you thought.